So guys, where have I been for the last month? What's up with the 7 day challenge? Uh, well, I can explain, just give me a minute. Okay guys, so what exactly happened to the store? Uh, well, did I complete the 7 day challenge? Let's go inside the shop, trend steals. No, I did not actually end up completing the 7 day challenge on this store. But there's actually a, a pretty good reason why. I believe we started back in February actually. There's a very good reason why. It's because the product that we were selling, remember it was the, the clean tooth uh, whitening pen. It was actually turned out to be a super super mega winner. And uh, instead of continuing with this store, I ended up you know, switching this product onto a, a new store. Or my main store, and I managed to scale that store to over seventy nine thousand dollars in sales uh, in a month, really, uh, in March. So we we started to challenge back in what was this February, and at the end of February twenty fifth, I realized, hey, this product has some good potential, and so I just started on this store, and then you know we we got to scale it to about six point three k in a day. Uh, that that's still our highest uh, day to this point, but. Yeah, um, as you can see here, that we sold over 2,600 of them. I mean, we had a few different variants for them, uh, for the pen, but on the second day, we also sold nearly 400 units. I'm pretty sure we had a few other uh, variants as well. But essentially, that item ended us uh, ended up doing, you know, it's gone past 100k uh, this month, if you include April now. Uh, but really, anyone who took advantage of what I told them, back in February, you know, that this, this item that we, I did live product research in front of you guys, which is when I found this item, and if you guys didn't make use of what I actually told you to, uh, you know, I, I literally just found the product in front of you guys, but if you didn't do anything with the product that I showed you, then, you know, you, you just missed out on all this revenue, so, I mean, good luck, good, um, good job to the people who actually listened to what I said two months ago, and told you guys to start selling the t this teeth whitening pen. Because uh, it ended up doing eighty thousand in just one month, one month for me, and this was primarily Instagram influencers. Uh, we didn't really touch on Facebook because I realized that Facebook didn't approve ads of that sort. Um, Facebook don't like ads that are like really close up to your teeth and stuff, so we we could have run uh, ads on Facebook. So it was just Instagram, and it was pretty much the same strategy that I was showing you guys inside of the seven day challenge, the one I used to get these free sales here. Um, but yeah guys, you guys really did miss out, if you didn't actually follow the advice I told you, you missed out on 80k and, and this month it's also done nearly about that much as well, so, I mean, that's really the the main reason why I didn't continue with the 7 day challenge, uh, it's because uh, the 0 to 1,000 turned into 0 to 80,000, and you know, if I, if I share that guys, or continue to share that guys with you, I probably wouldn't have got this 80,000, most of you guys would have just jumped in as well. I took a, a a good portion of the the market for the teeth whitening pen, so that's why I'm showing you guys uh, the product now because it's kind of died down at the moment. So yeah, I mean, uh, I can show you guys the analytics just to make sure you guys can see it's real. And at the moment, the store is kind of for the last couple of days our PayPal has been banned, so you know there's not been much revenue. I think there's only one order day, which is depressing. Um, but yeah. You can see this is all real, 1.17 conversion rate, uh, which is definitely way better than the, uh, what was the conversion rate on this store? Uh, I focused, for the first time I really spent time focusing on the conversion rate, so <laughs> it's better than the 0.2% that we got here. Uh, but really, I looked at all the stats, and I saw we got 38 initiate checkouts, just from, I think it was like $30, $30 in ad spend, uh, so you know, that was immediately like telling me this was like a really good product, so... Yeah, I guess I just scaled it and I didn't want to tell you guys because it, it just resulted in me uh, not making as much. But you guys, um, it just shows you that <laughs> to those people who are actually action takers, those are the people that make money. Because if you just watched my video like two months ago, or you didn't do anything with what I told you to do, you know, you didn't start selling the product that I literally did live research in front of you guys for, um, then you, you missed out, not me, I didn't miss out. Um, so yeah, I guess it's kind of a uh, selfish, selfish not to share, you know, exactly what I did over the last uh, month to scale this item, and I just took it for myself and then completed the last two days. Uh, but in another sense, you know, that's just that's just how it.
how it goes, I guess. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that I just wanted to give a quick update on the seven day challenge. Uh, so we won't be continuing with the challenge because obviously I did do it. I did wreck that challenge and I created a new store just based around that one product. And I think we grew this uh, Instagram page of this store to nearly 100,000 followers. Um, but yeah, I'll be making a, a video breaking down exactly what I did to get the store to this level. Um, this store's uh, just been up for that month as soon as I identified the item. Um, but again, in this store, I, I also missed out on a ton of revenue. I think this product could have done at least, you know, over $200,000. In a month, just with Instagram, if I probably uh, properly capitalize on the trend and you know stack hundreds of promos a day instead of just like the 10, 15, 50 shout outs I did do. Um, so that, that was probably like a, the downside of this is I wasn't fully ready to, um, what was it, increase my sale, my, my scale along with the product. You know, I was like, but limited by time, I didn't have a system properly set up. So I guess it's just a good experience um, on what I should have worked on. I mean, what I should work on at least from now. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely did miss out on a ton of revenue. I think if you guys start selling this item, maybe the, even the month before me, then you guys probably would have done at least like maybe half a million in sales by now, just from this item, because that's how big the trend was. I mean, still the trend is on Instagram. Like there are still quite a few stores uh, selling the teeth whitening pen, uh, but slowly starting to go down. But again, this this is still this item is still doing a couple k for us a day now. So you would still be making money if you jumped on the trend now. But it's you know kind of in the downturn, so it might be hard to probably build a store around it. But because we did it about a month ago or two months ago now, uh, that's why I was able to make use of it. Uh, but yeah, guys, this just goes to show that as soon as you see something that's actually working, you should just jump in. You know, get your feet wet and get started because you don't want to, you know. Look at the end and say, you know, I should have got started back then. You just want to get started now. And don't worry if you lose money because, you know, chances are if you actually if you actually learn how to master the Shopify game properly, then you won't be losing money. You'll be making a ton of money uh, from these trends anyway. But, yeah, just just jump in. Uh, when you see something going good, when when you see something continuously being posted on social media, you want to jump in the trend, you know, on the first, second day that you see the ad a couple times and just, just start selling it. And but yeah, I mean, that's the that's the best advice uh, I could give. I mean, there's not many trends that come around like this that are sustainable for like, I think the teeth whitening trend has been around for like six or five or six months really for this item. Uh, there's not many trends that are like this. Uh, only a few come around. Maybe there's only one or two or three a year. Everything else is kind of like sells for a month or sells for a week and then dies out. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the burrito blanket on Instagram that pretty much lasted for a week. You know, some people did like, I think they did like 30k a day with just one item, uh, but then it died out one week later. So there's not many times that you come across a trend like this. So if you do say, do you do see something like consistent as this, then, or you see something continuously being posted, then you know that you have a good chance to make money from it. So I would just get started. Uh, but I'll probably be uploading a video tomorrow, breaking down exactly how I hit the 80k. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to give an update on what's been happening uh, since since uh, February but yeah I hope I hope that did make sense to you guys and I guess we'll see you in the next one so yeah guys that is pretty much it what's happened uh, since March really and uh, of course I'm, I'm not I'm not planning to exactly finish the 70 challenge because I technically did finish it but I didn't finish it finish it um, but maybe maybe if a uh, if I wanted, I'd maybe make a, a training series on how you can get your stores up to a thousand dollars a day exactly. Because um, I didn't exactly break this strategy and stuff down. I just kind of showed you at the end of all of it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I guess if you have any questions, just DM me at, on Instagram at alexphilip underscore one, and I'll get back to you soon. Or drop them down in the comment section down below, and I normally reply to like the ones in the first twenty-four hours. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy, and peace. Oh